All right, I'm here with Robbie from the RAB Racing Team. So tell us uh, who you are and what you do here. Uh, my name is Robbie Benton. I'm the team owner of the RAB Racing with Bratton Magger Toyota Camry. And this car depends on the uh, Microsoft Surface Pro, correct? Yes, uh, sir. Tell us a little bit about that. How do you use the Surface Pro with this car? Uh, the Surface Pro has become uh, a very integral part of our weekly routine. Uh, I use it a lot, uh, personally and with the business, uh, just as a, as a normal mobile computer. Yeah. Uh, as far as the team goes, we've uh, developed, alongside with Microsoft and Toyota Racing Development, a trackside app, as we call it. So what it does is allow us uh, mobile capacity to monitor timing and scoring uh, at the racetrack in any given event. So uh, during practice, during actual qualifying or race event, we have uh, the ability to, to, to monitor timing and scoring uh, as a live feed. Yeah. And then it also offers us a platform to where our crew chief and our driver can communicate check, check. back and one, forth two, one, through two. use of several different levels of the app itself. One, two. And what kind of advantage do you get from using the, uh, the Surface app? Uh, the advantages to us are uh, probably mostly communication. Uh, I think that the ability for the driver and the crew chief to almost be able to communicate without speaking a word uh, is very important to us. Yeah. Um, at, in any of the NASCAR events, all the teams kind of eavesdrop on each other. We operate on public two-way communication channels, yeah. uh, and we're not able to scramble those feeds. So anything that we say, especially communication between the driver and the crew chief, uh, can be monitored by the teams. So what the Surface Pro has enabled us to do is for the driver and the crew chief to actually have a form of communication that's unspoken, and they can pass the Surface Pro in and out of the window without the driver having to get out of the car uh, between runs, uh, and it actually saves us time, gives us uh, a little bit more effective time on track. Yeah, and probably one of the other advantages you have is that you're the only team using it, right? We are the only team using it, so yeah. we have a little bit of an advantage there. Yeah, and uh, how many sensors does a car like this have that you're capturing data from? Uh, in a typical race event, we don't have any sensors. Uh, everything is, is done manually, so yeah. we're going off of a, a real seat-of-the-pants kind of feel from the driver, uh, and he'll communicate that to the crew chief. So uh, with the track maps, uh, we have a, a Bing map, and we actually take the, an, an aerial view of the track, mm -hmm. and the driver can take and break down different parts of the lap and communicate that with the crew chief, uh, and he can quantify uh, what he's feeling with the car, if it's oversteer, if it's understeer, yeah. if, it's, if it's okay, if he likes it. Uh, he takes a scale of 1 to 10 and actually programs that into the Bing maps and, and can pass that on to the crew chief without ever having said a word. Mm -hmm. So I imagine that the, uh, the margins and the tolerances for uh, a lap are probably within hundreds, thousands of a second. What, what has changed from before using the app till now? Uh, the biggest thing that it's allowed us to do is maximize our practice time. So a uh, case in point, uh, this past weekend in Dover, Delaware, we qualified fourth. We missed winning the pole by 36 thousandths of a second. Yeah. So between the pole and us, there were two more cars within Probably 36 faster thousandths. Faster than a blink so of the eye. Faster than a blink of an eye. So anything that we can do to get one extra lap on track might be what we need to know how to get that last 36 thousandths of a second. So yeah. uh, it's crucial to us. So um, we are we live and die by the stopwatch. Yeah. So every lap that we can make, uh, and every lap that our driver Alex Bowman can get on the racetrack to tune his car just a little bit further mm -hmm. could mean the difference in that 36 thousandths of a second. Very nice. Well, thanks for talking to us today. Thank you very much. All right, I'm here with Chris Rice, crew chief for the uh, RAB racing team. So tell us a little bit about how you use Surface and uh, the app that you use. And I hear you use Surface all the time, not do, just man. when you're racing. I do. When I got my Surface, I went to sleep with it. I kept it with me, you know. I right there it. in bed? Oh, right there in bed. Yeah, I do I the same it. thing. It's awesome. Um, I use it as a desktop. I mean, yeah. when, when I got it, I, I flipped it, went to the desk, desktop, and um, I use it as that. I use my email, Twitter. You know, I got games on it. I watch movies on it flying because we're traveling all the time. So yeah. I use it for a lot a lot of things other than the TRD app. You know? Yeah. Um, but as you see us at the racetrack, I'm using it all the time there. And it's pretty durable because I I've, I've threw it on the toolbox and moved it around yeah. here and there. So yeah. Yeah, I, I, I love mine. Yeah, and uh, so what are the types of things that you get from the TRD app that uh, are important for you? Well, we use um, comparisons, like we compare it ourselves to our other competitors, you know, and it's, it's got a real cool part of the app that you can see when you're slower than they are, that the app starts, you know, the, the line starts moving up yeah. if they're faster and they stay. So it's easy to read. You don't have to sit there and study lap times, you know, and it's fast. 
it's something that you can look at real quick. Okay, well, we're this slow. We need to make it better. Yeah, and, uh, and so what's your favorite thing about the Surface? Uh, my favorite thing about the Surface is probably the keyboard, being able to yeah. take the keyboard right off, you know, and then you, you get it close and it, it goes yeah. right back in. I really, um, I really enjoy that because I'm a, I'm a simple guy, you know, something yeah. that's, that's real fast and easy. So I really like that. And having the different keyboards is, is nice too, you know, like when we're on pit road, and we're doing stuff, you don't want all that trash to get in that keyboard, so yeah. I used a smooth keyboard. Mm -hmm. And then when I'm back at the shop or in my office or something like that, I use the other keyboard. So having the two different keyboards, that's that's really cool. Yeah, a lot of shops you see that they use a little plastic kind of membrane overlay on a keyboard, but you know, with, with the touch keyboard, you don't have to. You don't have to, you know, and I'm not a real good typer anyway, so I'm, you know, the one yeah. finger deal, so it works great for me. Yeah, and so what types of things would you, uh, would you like to see in the future? Um, you know, apps, the guys are building way and way, many apps. I, I was yeah. here today and watched all this and seen how many apps. Just the store is easy to use. I was, um, you know, from buying movies and, and stuff like that because it, I, I use it as a, as a, as a tool at, at work and I use it as pleasure at home. So all the apps, you know, just continuously getting better and better. The camera's good on it. Yeah. You know, so, uh, I like that. Um, I, I don't know the, the <laughs> things that I need to see probably is not something that, uh, that we'll see but yeah. it's, it's really cool it's a really cool product uh, TRD's app is really good so I'm really enjoying using it great well thanks for talking to us today thank you all right we're here with Alex Bowman and you are the young driver <laughs> of this uh, very cool car first of all tell us what it's like to drive this so this is a uh, NASCAR Nationwide Series car. It's a Toyota Camry. It makes around 650 horsepower. So it's uh, it's pretty quick and it's a ton of fun to drive. Um, I mean, there's really no no feeling to explain it or, or no direct way to explain it, but uh, it's just a lot of F fun. F-18, something close yeah. to an F-18. <laughs> Maybe something like that. <laughs> yeah, and uh, how long have you been driving? So I've been racing since I was seven years old, so 13 years. Wow. All right. And so you use the Surface app with this. What's the biggest benefit that the Surface app gives you when driving this? So with the TRD Trackside app on, on the Surface, um, the biggest benefit for us is just it speeds up our communication throughout practice, and we're, we're able to get more runs through practice and make more changes and just learn more about the race car. Um, some things that really help us are the track map, where you can pinpoint exactly where the car is doing different things, and also the run comparison, so you can chart a whole run instead of just one lap. Yeah. And so I asked you earlier, I was like, what, what is uh, the Microsoft technology you're looking forward to? Xbox One. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. I'm trying to see who I can beg to get one before it comes out, but yeah. I, it's not working out so great yet. We'll see what we can do. And so, do you race on Xbox? I do a little bit, um, playing the Forza games, and I play Battlefield 3 as well. Um, I'm not very good at video games. Yeah. I, I struggle a little bit, but uh, That's I, all right. I, I spend more time in this. Car. Yeah, exactly. Great. And uh, and so, uh, what what are the types of uh, data that are really important to you? I mean, what what do you actually look at on the app that it, you focus on first? So, with the app, it um, NASCAR streams data to all the teams, and the app picks up uh, lap times. So, what the app does is that it actually charts out what the different like charts out the lap times and uh, puts them all in order so you have like scoring of who's fastest but the thing is you can be the fastest car on the racetrack and only do one lap it's really about how you hold your speed over a long run yeah so with the app being able to chart out the long runs that data is really valuable to us great well thanks for talking to us today thank you i appreciate it